in readiness for, for tra transferring our cider from the primary fermentation, of course, um, transferring it to this glass carboy, we've got to make sure the carboy is clean. Um, and in order to clean it, I typically use a, a caustic solution, which is, is sodium hydroxide and, and water, and I'll usually make up a dilute solution and, and fill the thing all the way and just let it soak for a while. Um, it's a very strong cleaner. Um, I'll then, then uh, pour it out, rinse it out really well with some warm water, and I'm ready to sanitize it. Um, there's a whole bunch of things you can use to clean this, of course. Um, from, from home boost, brew stores, you can use um, different chlorinated um, Brightsorb and chlorinated uh, cleaners and things like that. Um, ultimately, you know, it, it, it it's, it's should look 100% perfect. There's absolutely nothing, nothing in there to be worried about. It's perfectly clean. Now, for sanitizing, I use something called Oxonia, which is a, a particular product um, made up mostly of, of um, it's a peracetic acid sanitizer, which I think is is kind of akin to hydrogen peroxide. Um, again, it's pretty strong as well. But you can use things like bleach as well. You just have to get contact time. That's pretty important. Um, have to have to leave the thing to sanitize for a while. Make sure all the all the bugs are totally dead. So um, so this is what I'm going to do right now. I'm going to take. I have about a hundred mils or so of the Oxonia solution. Um, it's pretty strong. I'm not really, and I don't want to get it on my skin either because it kind of burns your flesh a little bit. So you know it's doing a great job. So by the time I mix some water with it to dilute it, um, it, it it's, no, it's not harmful at all. It's just when it's in, in its 100% form like that, it's really, really strong and you don't really want to get it on your skin. So I'll just put a couple of pitchers of cold water in. And also use um, sulfite powder, use some metabisulfite powder mixed with water as well. That's pretty common in winemaking, you know, for, for sanitizing stuff and it works great too. But again, it's all about contact time. So you see a little bit of solution in the bottom, but of course I'm going to give it a shake to get it everywhere. You want to really, you know, when we pour it out, it'll be, it'll be in contact with the, with the neck quite a bit as well and the opening of the bottle. But um, basically I'll just, I can just do this and let it sit for a little while while we do some other stuff.